To be honest, after Beth's wedding, Wendy, a member of her church, asked if she could have Beth's wedding gown for her upcoming wedding. Beth obliged her. On Wendy's wedding day, Beth was shocked to see that the beautiful white wedding gown had been dyed a different color. What first came to Beth's mind was that Wendy wasn't qualified to wear white on her wedding day. But then she could also have dyed the dress because she didn't want anyone who had attended Beth's wedding and now came to hers to notice that it was Beth's dress that she used. Beth was to hear later from Wendy herself that she had lived a very wild life before giving her life to Christ. Beth concluded that her earlier assumption was right. Wendy probably felt she wasn't qualified to wear white on her wedding day. Beth thought very deeply about Wendy's step and asked herself if she would have been as honest and bold as Wendy was if at the time she got married she wasn't qualified to wear white. Would she have worn a different color or preferred to deceive people by wearing white? Many times people say to be very honest with you and then go on to reel out a series of lies. Such people want to be seen as truthful, even though they are liars and deceivers like Ananias and Sapphira. Acts chapter 5 from verse 1 to 10. Now a man named Ananias, together with his wife Sapphira, also sold a piece of property. With his wife's full knowledge, he kept back part of the money for himself, but brought the rest and put it at the apostles' feet. Then Peter said, Ananias, how is it that Satan has so filled your heart that you have lied to the Holy Spirit and have kept for yourself some of the money you received for the land? Didn't it belong to you before it was sold? And after it was sold, wasn't the money at your disposal? What made you think of doing such a thing? You have not lied just to human beings, but to God. When Ananias heard this, he fell down and died. And great fear seized all who heard what had happened. Then some young men came forward, wrapped up his body, and carried him out and buried him. About three hours later, his wife came in, not knowing what had happened. Peter asked her, Tell me, is this the prize you and Ananias got for the land? Yes, she said, that is the prize. Peter said to her, How could you conspire to test the Spirit of the Lord? Listen, the feet of the men who buried your husband are at the door, and they will carry you out also. At that moment, she fell down at his feet and died. Then the young men came in and, finding her dead, carried her out and buried her beside her husband. That's the New International Version. People pull the wool over the eyes of others in many different areas. For instance, there are Christians who would sell items to you at overly exaggerated prices while making you believe that they gave you the best deal possible because you are all brethren in Christ. Some use their head knowledge of the Bible to sweep you off your feet and make you let down your guard. Then they take advantage of your trust in them to do you harm. By the time you discover what they are up to, a great damage has been done to you and then the perpetrators disappear. There are Christians who know they are supposed to make restitution in one area or the other, but they use their smooth tongue and innocent holier-than-thou look to deceive everyone and keep carrying on as if all is fine. Interestingly, some people in this category are always first to point out the wrongs that their brethren in Christ are doing and show them from the scriptures why they should repent and also restitute their ways where they need to. One reason why a lot of people deceive others by pretending to be what they are not is that they are more concerned about what people will think of them than how God views them. Therefore, as long as nobody is able to read through them and know who they really are, they are happy. But of what use is it to deceive human beings when you cannot deceive or mislead the God who is going to judge and reward us all? Hebrews 4.13 Nothing in all creation is hidden from God's sight. Everything is uncovered and laid bare before the eyes of him to whom we must give account. That's the New International Version. If you are ever tempted to cover up your sin with a lie or feigned righteousness, remember that God cannot be deceived. Allow his word and spirit to truly bear fruit in your life. May the Lord help us all in Jesus' name. Amen.